Hi, what's up, you guys? This is your girl, So With Brit, and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. And happy, happy new year to all of you. Today, I am excited because I will be teaching basic sleeve pattern consisting of tarted sleeve and a plain satin sleeve. In this tutorial, I will also teach you guys how to manage the excess on the sleeve cap and a little bit of sewing technique. Before we proceed to the tutorial, make it sure to hit that bell and subscribe button to be notified with my new videos. And if you are new to my channel, make it sure to check out my sewing and pattern making tutorials. Here are the tools and the materials that I will be using for this tutorial. Back and front bodice, paper scissors, simple pencil, an eraser, fashion rulers, pattern papers and cartolina, and of course measuring tape. Of course, we won't be able to draft our pattern without the measurements. First, we have to trace the back and front armhole from our bodices. Don't forget to include the shoulder length and the side seam line. And as you guys can see in the video, I aligned the back and front bodice blocks towards the side seam making it seem like the bodices are attached. I did this because I will take the measurement from the traced armhole instead of getting the measurements on the existing bodice block which is for me is difficult. So again, don't forget to include the shoulder length and the side seam. So now that I have traced my back and front armholes, I am ready to take in the measurements using my flex ruler. I started taking my measurements with the front armhole and I got 7 to 8 inches. Please remember that my measurements are different from yours. Anyways, don't forget to record the measurements that you got. Next is the back armhole. Usually, the back armhole is wider than the front. Again, my measurement is different from yours so don't get confused on what you see. Now that we have completed the measurements, we can now move on to the formula. This is the bicep or sleeve width formula. And make it sure guys to pause this video and copy or take a screenshot of this example. Next, connect the back and front shoulder tip with a ruler. Mark in the half measurement of this line and connect this mark going to the side seam line. Measure and record this new line, so what I've got is 618 inches and this will be my arm hold depth. Here is the formula for the arm hold depth measurement. Make it sure to pause this video to copy or take a screenshot of this example. So now we have all of the measurements for the arm hold and the bicep. We can now complete everything with the sleeve length. Here is an example of the measurement that I will use for this tutorial. We are done with the measurements and now we can move on for pattern drafting of the basic sleeve. First, draw a horizontal line on the bottom of your paper. Make it sure to leave space at the bottom. Next, draw a vertical line at the center of the horizontal line and label it B. B to A. Mark up the sleeve length from B. For me, I am using 23 inches. Label it A. From A, extend a horizontal line. A to C. Mark in the armhole depth or the cap height. And label this C. From C point, extend a horizontal line. C to D. 
get the half measurement of C to be and mark this measurement from C. Label this mark D. From D, extend another horizontal line. Moving on to the sleeve cap. C to E. Mark in the half of the bicep or sleeve width. Label this E. C to F. Same as C to E. Label this F. Let's move on to the wrist section. B to O. Mark in half of bicep or sleeve width minus 2 inches. Label this O. B to B. Same as B to O. Label this P. E to O and F to P. Connect E to O with a ruler. And connect F to P with a ruler. And as you guys can see, we already have a sleeve structure. Now, let's go back to the cap of the sleeve. Connect E to A and F to A. Measure E to A and F to A and divide this by 4. Mark in the one-fourth measurement of E to A, making three marks. First mark is G. Second mark is H. And the third mark is K. Next, from F to A. Mark in the one-fourth measurement of FDA, making three marks. First mark is N. Second mark is M. And the third mark is L. Next. Mark out 5 eighths inch from K. Next, mark out 2 eighths inch from H. And lastly, mark in 3 eighths inch from G. Here's a quick recap of the markings measurements. Using your French curve, connect A, K, H. And H, G, E. Next, mark out 6 eighths inch from L. Next, mark out 3 16 from M. And lastly, mark in 4 eighths inch from N. Here's a quick recap of the markings. Next, using your French curve, connect A, L, M.
and M and F. And this is the cap for the sleeve. And now we have a no dart set in sleeve. Anyways, you can trace this pattern on a piece of paper or cartolina to make a sleeve block for no dart set in sleeve. By the way, we are not done yet as we will proceed to the darted sleeve. On the elbow section, label the right side S as seen on the video. On the left side of the elbow section of the sleeve, mark in to its inch and label it R. R to T. Get the measurement of R to D and divide it by 2 and mark this measurement from R. Label this T. R to U. Mark down 1 inch from R and this is the dart opening. Label this mark U. U to T. Connect U to T with a ruler. Now, moving on to the wrist section. O to V. Mark in 6 eighths inch from O. Label this V. V to U. Connect VTU and extend this line going down from V. Next, get the measurement of S to P. Once you got the measurement, mark it from U to V line. Label this W. Next, measure the original wrist, which is O to B to P. Transfer this measurement from W and label this X. Next, draw a side curve from W going to X. Get the O to B measurement and record. Transfer this measurement from W and label it B. S to X. Draw a slight curve from S towards X. And as seen on the video, we now have the armband for the sleeves. Next, connect D to B with a ruler. R to E. And lastly, connect R to E. And now we have the darted sleeve. With the previous sleeve is that this one has an elbow dart and arm bend. Don't forget to transfer this pattern on a new paper or thick cardboard to make a block for this one. Oh, wait! Before we transfer our patterns, let's make it sure if the elbow dart legs are aligned. Let's close the dart first and see if there are changes. So, if you guys also experience this from your pattern, make it sure to mend it. Mark in the right length of the dart. and blend this mark towards the line.
So there you go, guys. Now let's move on to managing the excess on the sleeve cap. Because I already cut my patterns from the paper, I will now trace again the sleeve cap on a new piece of paper. Don't forget to include the center line, y'all. So what I got in here is the front and back bodice. What we want to do is to determine where is the location of the excess. Get the armhole measurements of the back and front bodices. Again, we will be needing our trusty flex ruler for this one. Starting at the front sleeve, I will mark in the front armhole measurement from my pattern. And I will also do this on the back sleeve. Once we've marked in the front and back armhole measurements, let's get the whole measurement from these marks or the excess. Usually, the excess on the sleeve cap is 1 to 8 inches to 1 6 8 inches. So here, I have my original sleeve block. Now that I got the measurement of the excess, I will now mark this measurement evenly or equally to my sleeve cap. This excess will be gathered later when you're going to attach the sleeve to the bodices. Now, let's move on to the notching of patterns. Let's start on the back sleeve. From G mark, mark up for 8 inch. Next, from the first notch, mark up another 4 8 inch. These two notches will determine the back part of the sleeve. Next, from N, mark up 4 8 inch. And this notch will determine the front part of the sleeve. So in here, I got my original box and I'm marking it. Let me just remind you all that we need notches to avoid confusion when it's time for sewing. So notches are very important, y'all. Anyways, as you guys can see, I got my two sleeves here. The set-in sleeve without a dart or no dart. And the one with an elbow dart and arm bend. Anyways, I've completed the excess marks and the notches and I am so ready to move on with the sewing part. I hope you guys are too. So in here, I've got all of my patterns, sleeve patterns, bodice patterns, and these patterns are already with sewing allowances and they are ready to cut and sew. So as you guys can see here, I am cutting all of the bodice and sleeve patterns. So here, I am done cutting and what I want to do is concentrate on the sleeve cap or the cap of the sleeve. And just a reminder, one notch is for the front sleeve and two notches are for the back sleeve. So next step is sewing. We are going to sew two stitches on the sleeve cap from the front notch and the back notch. By the way, you guys, I am using a number 4 stitch tension on my sewing machine so that I'll be able to gather the sleeve cap easily. Also, sew the stitch 1 8 inch away from the edge. And here you go, done with the first stitch. Now 
And again, another 1 8 inch of allowance on the second stitch. Anyways, you guys, make it sure to back tack so the thread won't loosen up while you're gathering it. Done with the sewing on the sleeve cap, and now I can gather the sleeve cap by pulling the thread. We are gathering the cap so that when we will sew it on the bodice, it will fall naturally and there's a curvy volume on the sleeve cap. So here is what I'm talking about. As seen on the video, the sleeve cap has curvy volume. Right now, there's a lot of puckering because we're still going to press this. So as you guys can see here, I've already pressed my sleeve cap on my tailor's ham to secure the curve and the stitches. So this is how it will look like. Less puckering and clean. This is what we want to achieve. So as you guys can see, I have here my bodice, and I will attach the sleeve on the armhole of the bodice. Make it sure to pin the sleeve in place to secure before sewing. By the way, my sewing allowance for my armhole and sleeve cap is 3 8 inch. Et voila! So here I've got my darted sleeve on the left side and it gives an armband to my sleeve which is really good and professional looking. The sleeve cap is clean and the excess is managed well. So this is what I'm talking about. Clean finish. So yeah, that's the darted sleeve. And the next one is the no dart sleeve. And as you guys can see, it's just straight. But these sleeves are perfect for shirts and stylized sleeves. And also, the sleeve cap is clean and the excess is managed well. So there you go. It's really clean. Anyways, you guys, I'm satisfied and I really like my sleeves and I hope you guys like it too. Tell me what you think about this tutorial and which sleeve is your preference. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And make it sure to subscribe and be part of our growing community. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys again on the next tutorial. Bye!